this video, I want to take you with me to Morocco. Since uh, the borders are gradually opening up, I just thought that if you're like me, who've been craving to travel, why not do it vicariously through a video? Now, I took a trip to Morocco in December of 2017, and I did do a blog post on it with photos, but I never got around to actually sifting through all of the footage that I took during that trip. So let's relive that trip together. I was based in Marrakesh for six days, and then I also did a day trip to Rabat and Warazate. All right, so first, Marrakesh. Driving to Marrakesh was so beautiful. There is so much natural beauty. And then when you get into Marrakesh and all of the, the architecture in Marrakesh is so picturesque and gorgeous looking. So me who just loves taking photos and videos and looking at aesthetic and everything, like it was, it was total like aesthetic paradise. This was actually my first time ever being in the Northern region of Africa. When it comes to the architecture and the way the city is, is organized, like African, European, Arab, all mixed together, really. And for Marrakesh, it's as well known for its red brick and walls. And it's also very pedestrian friendly, which makes it really awesome to explore because uh, there's a lot of, it does give you a little bit of that European feel of you just walk and there's cafes and shops and things like that. So on our first night, we went out. On our first night, we went out for after, of course, coming in and checking into our, our hotel and everything, which was gorgeous in itself. Like, oh my, oh my goodness. But I'll talk, we'll talk later about that. So on our first night, we went out to a restaurant and it looked like so many things reminded me of like a movie or something, right? So you go and you have to go up these stairs and you hear the music and you know of course people are chatting and stuff and it feels so weird talking about it now because it's like yo when will we ever i've not been around so many people and like it feels like forever but uh we have this long table and and the lighting is kind of it's a little dim it's a little dim and then they had belly dancers come with their the candles and everything. And it was so, it was really fun. I was like, yo, this is so cool. And I had my first of many bowls of couscous. I was eating couscous before I visited Morocco because I do enjoy Mediterranean food. So that is something I would have in restaurants as well as cook for myself. But Moroccan couscous is so fluffy. It's so, it's, it's, ah. Uh. I could, that that was a main staple that I was eating throughout the trip. My family, of course, got tired of it very quickly. They were looking for rice, but I'm like, nah, y'all don't understand the couscous. The next day, we also remained in Marrakesh and we went to a fish restaurant slash fish market. So the way it was, was that downstairs, majority of downstairs is where you have all the fresh fish and you choose what you want and then they'll cook it the way you ask them to. And then, they bring it to your tables. We got, we went to a table that was upstairs and had all this different like seafood sort of thing with the flatbread and things like that. And that was, that was, that was pretty neat. It was not as touristy. So you, the people you were eating with were other actual Moroccans who were there for lunch sort of thing. And it was, it was seasoned nicely, seasoned well. Later that day, of course, we're still in Marrakesh. We went to the souks which is their version of, you know, an open market, which like was awesome and also overwhelming. There are so many artisans and craftsmen and kiosks and shops for everything you can think of. It's, it's kind of a thing you really need to, either you know somebody who knows, oh, what are you looking for? Okay, boom, I got it exactly, this is where you need to go. Or you really need to take your time and just explore. Because there was so much that I'm like, oh, I wish I had more time. Next, we went to Shea Ali. Now this was a dinner slash cultural Fantasia show. I highly recommend to check it out when you visit Morocco. We get to the place and you have all of these people on horseback, just like standing around, like leading up to the place. Then you enter and there's somewhat of, it's almost a maze for you to get to the main place. 
and you have different people singing and different people like guiding you over there and stuff but it, it really got you feeling like you're stepping into another into another world or another dimension or even like in a time machine or something then you it opens the main space is like this huge open place and you're passing by different groups who are like are representing the different tribes who are singing their traditional song playing their traditional instruments as you get to the dining area and everything is red there's like a red carpet a red canopy big round tables with red tablecloth and everyone is served the same thing wow you are eating the group the different groups of people that you passed by to get to your dining area come around and play with everybody in terms of singing their songs or dancing or getting people to get up and dance with them and things like that after the meal is over then the main show happens where everyone then is supposed to move to another another area where we have a huge clearing and that's where the horsemen do their show where they do they do their galloping in different formations and then they shoot their rifles up in the air and things like that and then they had fireworks i was like wow it was really neat i really enjoyed it and i thought it was an awesome really nicely organized because they actually had quite a lot of people there and they even had comedy where you had you know the the horsemen are all like these big strapping horses and then you have at the other end like a donkey who's trying to do the formations with the horses but it's it's funny because it's it's a donkey but he has the donkey has been trained completely like the horses so he's moving his paws in formation exactly like them and I was like it was so it was so cute and so fun next stop was Rabat all right now the city of Rabat is where you have parliament and all the government established buildings are located there in the inner city of Rabat it was it actually felt more European in a sense where you have the the big tall government type looking buildings and then avenues of cafes and little shops and stuff where they have you know the little the little round tables of the little it was very French it felt very French I'm not gonna say just European it actually felt very French with the little cafes or the little round tables or the little chairs where you have your little you know your little patisserie and your, you know your coffee and stuff like that that definitely had that feel. It's not, Rabat is not landlocked, right? So when you go closer to the shore, it then transforms into this blue city where there's this maze and all the walls are painted blue with some white. And there's all these like, again, a mu much more like artisans and craftsmen and shops, but are all, I, to me, it was a maze because you keep on just going, going, going like this. It reminded me again of like a James Bond movie where it will be those sorts of places that he's running after somebody. Or Jason Bourne. Yeah. Where they're running after someone and then going in between the kiosks and that sort of thing. So again, very picturesque and very beautiful and also just very different as well. Our next day trip was Wawazate. Now to get there, we had to drive up the Atlas Mountains. It was so picturesque. Like it again, reminded me of a secret agent movie because the road, you know, is winding around and then you have to go really slow to make sure someone else not coming and there's someone on a donkey with their stuff. Like it was so very picturesque again and so much beautiful natural beauty as well. Now, when we got to Wabazate, it is actually like movie world the way it's set up. Like when you enter the city, there's these huge statues, a huge thing of an old fashioned camera, a few, like as you're going further in. Then there is the Atlas Corporation Studios, which is an actual film studio. The Hollywood movies that were filmed there include Lawrence of Arabia, Cleopatra, Gladiator, The Mummy. So we took the tour and it was, I loved it absolutely loved it because I'm all into film right so they had the sets for these different movies that you can walk through as well as can play and like sit down in some parts of it our tour guide you know would give us little like fun facts about how each of these films were made there the studio itself is actually really well preserved uh, but one at least for me I could see that like it hasn't actually been used to film a movie in a while, unfortunately. And then next door to it, there was a film museum 
where again they have sets from different movies as well as which i really love a camera room where they have like from the very first camera ever made to what a camera looks like today i really i really was excited and enjoyed uh, seeing wabazate it was also bittersweet for me because i could see that the entire city was built to be a movie space everyone who lives there has been an extra in a movie but it's like it's a historical landmark. It's not actually being utilized at all. Uh, those desert scenes and things like that, like at that time, the constant example they were giving was that, you know, people are not using the space for movies anymore. Like Star Wars, instead of using that space, which has your desert and things like that, they filmed parts of it in Tunisia. So it, it, to them, it was like, oh, I guess there's competition now because there's other places you can film stuff or you can also do CGI instead of going to the place directly, which at that time, which I wrote in my post at that time, but also now it got me thinking about Morocco's film industry, Africa's film industry, and whether or not we're really leveraging and utilizing all of the space and scenes that one can film on the continent itself. I take note of like, okay, if you're looking at, you know, what new African films are on Netflix, not many of them are taking place in a space where you need a desert or mountains and things like that, right? A lot of them are going more urban, where it's Lagos, it's Accra, it's Johannesburg, it's, you know, like that, that is what we're doing. So I guess it makes sense that you didn't take your whole coup to Warazate to be sitting there because it doesn't really go with your story. But then I'm like, but... Outside of African films that are supposed to just showcase daily life or daily luxurious life, where is our sci-fi African movies or our historical African movies? Those could utilize that studio in Warazate. But granted, I don't know if politics is also involved in terms of who uses the space and who doesn't and what money has to be involved as well. You should check out Warazate and Atlas Corporation Studios because they definitely have space that should be utilized outside of, I don't know, documentaries about oil or something, you know? Anyways, I plan to, one day, I will be filming a project there as well. That was my time spent in December in Morocco. And for me, to be honest, the majority of it was just basking in the natural beauty and architecture and couscous. During a trip in Morocco, did not get the chance to actually interact and hang out with a lot of Moroccans that were actually around my age or my sibling's age. Which is possible maybe that could have been done if we had spent more time, or which I hope will be the case next time, I actually get to hang out with people who live there, like befriend people who live there and hang out with them. Make sure you go to my website, dagnysenovia.com, where I will link for you my other blog post where I share photos of the trip. Also, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Comment below and share with me, one, have you visited Morocco and what did you think of it? And two, would you? Would it be on your list of places you would like to visit or travel to? Share with me and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. I'll see you next time.